chest soreness is one of the 34 symptoms of perimenopause, and it's an absolute pain, right? You would think as you're entering menopause, it wouldn't be as bad as it was maybe during your periods, even pregnancy or puberty, right? It should be getting better, you would think. It is, but it's taking a long time, right? And as you're in your perimenopausal years, your estrogen levels are fluctuating rapidly, which is causing a lot of that breast pain. Today on the Perry Channel, we're going to be talking about all things breast soreness and how to treat that breast soreness in your perimenopausal years. Breast soreness has two different causes in women. There are cyclical causes and non-cyclical causes. The cyclical causes you can probably guess. These are related to your hormone fluctuations during a normal menstrual cycle. When you're in perimenopause, your hormones such as estrogen and progesterone are fluctuating rapidly and erratically. So that breast soreness doesn't necessarily follow a predictable pattern like it might have in your menstrual cycle. You may have noticed when you were having regular periods that your breasts would get sore a couple of days before you menstruate. This is because your body is preparing for pregnancy and breastfeeding a child. So your milk ducts and milk lobules swell and you retain water in order to prepare for breastfeeding. When you're in perimenopause, obviously you're not trying to do that, but your body is still feeding off of those hormones and preparing for that. Non-cyclical causes of breast pain are unrelated to your period. So some examples of non-cyclical breast pain include breast cysts. As women get older, our breasts tend to get more fibrous and they get denser tissue. Sometimes that dense, dense tissue can lead to cysts. So if you notice that you have any lumps or bumps, as always have your doctor do a complete breast exam, but that's actually pretty normal in aging as well. Similarly, if you have any skeletal muscular injuries associated with this general region, that can totally lead to breast pain too. So if you're doing any repetitive motion such as shoveling snow, rowing a boat, that can lead to breast pain. So just be cognizant of that. And similarly, if you have any chest wall conditions or even some lung pain, sometimes that can be referred to your breasts. Now it is important to note in women, when we have cardiovascular issues, sometimes we manifest that in thinking that it's breast pain. So it's really important to be aware of that, especially if you're having some other symptoms such as shortness of breath, heart palpitations, etc. Again, to make things more confusing, those can be normal symptoms in perimenopause. However, if you're concerned about it, it's always good to have your doctor evaluate you. Now onto some treatment options for breast soreness. First of all, it's important to note that it usually does go away or at least get significantly better after you're in menopause. While you're in perimenopause though, we gotta figure out some ways to keep you comfortable, right? So number one, wear a supportive bra. If you haven't been fit for a bra in a million years, definitely go get that done. That can be super helpful because your breasts will change as you get older. Similarly, if you're uncomfortable, really uncomfortable throughout the day, wear a bra 24-7, even sleep in one. And especially if you're doing sports activities or anything physical, wear the appropriate bra for that so you have the most support possible. Some other strategies for controlling breast discomfort in perimenopause include trying some supplements. Some women have had a lot of success with evening primrose oil. However, it's important to note that most women don't report much improvement until after six months of taking evening primrose oil. So stick with it a while if you're not having any adverse side effects. Similarly, fish oil has been shown to help with breast soreness as well. So that's a really good uh, supplement to take for a number of things, not only breast soreness, but it can also improve cardiovascular health as well. Try limiting caffeine as well. A lot of women report that when they've cut back on caffeine, it helps them feel so much better and they don't have the breast pain that they did beforehand. Interestingly, studies do not link caffeine use and breast pain. However, if other women are having success with it and you have a bit of a coffee addiction, it might be worth the try. Don't forget to consider taking medications too. Over-the-counter pain relievers such as Tylenol or Ibuprofen can be super helpful in relieving your breast pain. Always check with your doctor first, especially if you have any conditions that suggest that you shouldn't have Ibuprofen or Tylenol, but those can be great options for you. Similarly, your doctor may want to explore hormonal contraception. 
And the reason is sometimes if you can just get those hormone levels stabilized in perimenopause, it can help with a lot of your symptoms, not only breast soreness, but it can target many of the other symptoms that are super frustrating in perimenopause. Don't discount hot and cold therapy as well as touch either. Hot and cold compresses, a warm bath, even massage, especially if you have some injury in the area around your breasts, can be super helpful in treating your breast pain. Sometimes those can treat more than just our breast pain, so those type of self-care things can be really awesome. As always, if you have any concerns whatsoever about any of your symptoms in perimenopause, connect with your doctor. They can be a great resource for providing the latest tips and tricks on how to help you survive your perimenopause journey. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Perry Channel.